Epstein. If we're going to be uplifting, said, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Epstein because, hey, mm. everybody else, I mean, can we get into it? Because I want to ask, because yeah. I wanted to ask well, Pat and everybody a question about this whole situation. So you do want to go into the Epstein story? 100%. Uh, right, let's go through. Okay. Ep Epstein's brother, info about Trump Clinton would end 2016. But the, Rob, where's the story about Epstein with Tucker? Do you have the one with the Tucker interview and the notes on that? Mm -hmm. Jefferson Cole Files, we've already done that. We've also, Megyn Kelly, what she had Second to batch say. court document. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Jeffrey Epstein's list update, second batch of court documents unsealed. This is page eight. And then, yeah, Megyn Kelly said something. Do you have that clip, Rob, yes, about Megyn yes. Kelly? We're going to play that clip here in a second. Very weird what Megyn Kelly just said. But uh, let's go through this one here, January 5th. So, Newly unsealed court document reveal claims that uh, President Clinton and his connection, Jeffrey Epstein, these documents, lawsuits, Virginia, Jelaine Maxwell contain Miss Clinton walked into Vanity Fair office and pressured them to not write about Epstein. A magazine spokesperson denies the claim, while Mr. Clinton's spokesperson asserts he knew nothing about Epstein's crimes. Yeah. The documents are the second batch of unsealed filings related to the lawsuit. The first batch included names like Trump, Andrew, magician uh, David Copperfield, but does not indicate wrong indicate wrongdoing maxwell had been sued in 2015 by virginia Geoffrey for defamation but settled in 2017 uh keeping the document sealed until now rob can you pull up that clip of what megan kelly just said Fair just watch this here guys here's sure, megan kelly Tom, check this go out. for it fascinating and we're not done with jeffrey epstein i can tell you that for a fact can't tell you how i know but i can tell you for a fact we're going to hear a lot more about jeffrey epstein in the coming year uh, and you may be even hearing from him directly. More on what, that as I'm allowed to tell what you. What is she talking? Like, yo, yo, can you, and Rob, me and Rob just talked about this, Pat, before we started. Can you imagine, Adam, out of nowhere, he sh Epstein shows up, completely like, protected by, you know, security and everybody. And he's like, I got a story to tell. <gasps> and he has all these tapes and everything. Because his brother, hiding his face, I'm kind of... On the fence, because Rob showed me earlier that he has ties with Adam Schiff. He has ties with Maxine Waters. I don't really trust the brother. He's not showing his face. Who knows? He's saying, oh, they, my brother's not. Because, by the way, the, the way that the body was handled, Epstein's body, they took off his clothes. They put on a gown. There, there's so many mistakes. Besides the cameras, besides the guards, it's obviously some really, really sketchy stuff that happened with his brother, Pat. But I, I want to ask you guys a question. Uh, and a real genuine, honest question, because they mentioned Cl Clinton's the main name besides Alan Dershowitz and Stephen Hawking, which I don't even know how that could have happened where people were having sex with him. And Prince Andrew. Day. And Prince Andrew. But how much more do we need to learn about Bill Clinton until something he's held accountable for his actions? And let me just really fast. He's been accused of sexual assault. Juanita Broderick accused him of rape in 1978 in a hotel room where he almost ripped her lip, uh, her lip off, all right? Leslie Mill, we accused him of sexual assault in, the, in 1980. Paula Jones ex uh, accused him of exposing herself in 1991, as well as sexually harassing her. Kathleen Wiley accused him of groping her without his consent. And I, I don't know if you guys remember, do you guys remember what the left was shoving down our throats, no pun intended, believe all women? All right, that doesn't apply if those women are accusing people on the left. Moving on. 1995, he was in office. Monica Lewinsky, 18-month um, affair. He was hooking up with her with, you know, the whole cigar story, smoking it, shoving You know, he's, he's a freaking deviant. And yesterday, we learned uh, 50 times he was in Epstein's document dump where Epstein told uh, one of the victims told, uh, I'm sorry, Epstein told one of the victims that he likes them young when it comes to, to uh to women. So here's my thing. Nobody, nobody should be above the law. Not the average Joe and not a former president. How much more do we need to hear from demons like this and just information until we do something about it, right? Like enough is enough. Pat, how many and that's why I think it was two days ago I told you I go, there could be a video of him, Bill Clinton, hooking up with the underage girl and nothing would happen to him. And people were like, yeah, I don't know. What's gonna happen to him? Is anything, what is it going to need to take for him to get in trouble, to actually go to court? Well, what? this is progress. I think this is a start to what's going to happen. And we're going to see whether, you know, uh, 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 if this will continue or not. If it does, great. If it doesn't, it is what it is. But the reality of it is, Vinny, this is progress. And, and, and it's going to require people to be patient. You know where he was at December 29th and where he's at till today? Mm -hmm. you know, he's been in Mexico. 
Really? Yeah, he's been in Mexico meeting with the. He, he they've been out of the country on purpose. You think? Well, I don't know if it's on purpose. <laughs> I just know Bill Clinton spotted a smiling greeting passerby in Mexico hours before named in Jeffrey Epstein's list. Uh, yeah, they've been out of town. They've been over there in Guanajuato, if, if I'm not mistaken. Is it Guanajuato or Oaxaca? Let me see. Uh, what's the city they're in? Guanajuato. Yeah. So they've been they've been chilling. They've been chilling over there, and gradually, I can tell you for a fact. Um, that there are some things coming up, uh, uh, and a lot of people are not going to be. What's this time? That's him there. That's him in, is, in Mexico. It's, is that it's, the shirt that he wore that day? No, no, not the golf no, shirt. No. But, <clears throat> but this is progress. In, Accountabi <laughs> Accountability starts with this. Listen, if Jeffrey, did you watch Jeffrey Epstein's brother's interview I, with Tucker? Tucker yeah. Did you, wa did you yeah. watch that, Tom? Yeah. Did you, did you watch that? I, I only did. saw a What did you clips. think about it? I. <sighs> What, you, you want to play one of the clips? Go ahead yeah. and play yeah. this clip, and Rob. While, he, you, while he's doing it, Pat. I, by the I, way, just so you know, this guy, Jeffrey Epstein doesn't like Trump, uh, Tucker. Doesn't like Trump, his brother. He's a liberal. He's not on the right. This dude. The, so why, why why would you, as the brother of him, want to come forward in this moment? To, to He's not gonna. He's not sticking up for him because he was like, I didn't see him for seven years. I had no idea yeah, about him. Yeah, they haven't seen him for seven years. I don't, 18 months apart. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. He's a successful real estate guy. Didn't want to show his face to Tucker. I understand that, but oh, his, really? his no. ties to the Can left. Hold the on. No, he has, you'll see it here yeah, in a minute. He has, he has ties to the left, and it's almost as if, you know, he, he was trying to be like, well, he didn't kill himself to kind of distract him because with, with Megyn Kelly saying stuff like, you might hear from him as well. There's like, I don't know what the percentage is. Uh, Rob, we talked about this. How many percentage of Americans think that he actually still might be alive because of all the mistakes that were made with play the, the clip, body? Rob. Play the clip, Yeah. Go and then play. Also, play the, also, also play the Megyn Kelly clip after this. We, we, we already did. We showed it. <laughs> you were smoking. Adam, were you, were you smoking? Go ahead, play it. <laughs> we showed the... In me. Go ahead. High profile inmate in the most secure federal facility in the country's largest city who was somehow murdered clearly with the knowledge of the Justice Department and the Attorney General of the United States lies about it, which he did. Bar. And there's no reason to do that except to cover up the crime. So Correct. what does that what does that tell us about this? Oh, it's a scary thought that you could be killed in prison by the government. That your brother was dead in his cell and had been dead for two hours. At, Somebody, least, at least two hours. At least two hours. Yeah. Somebody cut off his clothing and redressed the corpse Weird. in hospital scrubs, in a gown. Yeah, I have a photograph of him uh, in a hospital gown on a gurney in a hospital where, you know, his arms were put through the sleeves. Like, you have any other clips, Rob? Well, think about it. And just, Adam, the the cameras weren't working. The security guards uh, messed up. The the body was tampered with. The brother can't find out that there's... There's so many inconsistencies, and mm -hmm. we still know he didn't. He didn't. He hasn't seen the body. He didn't get to actually see the body physically, and they moved it to the infirmary, which is not protocol. You're not supposed to do it. So, and then you hear all the rumors about him with Mossad, and uh, how many times did uh, the ex prime minister of Israel go to his house in Manhattan? Ehud Barak. Ehud Barak was yeah. up there. Uh, how many times, Rob? Between ten and one hundred times. Uh, okay, between ten and one hundred times. It's absolutely ridiculous. And Pat, I, I understand what you're saying. With it's slowly coming out, but we've known about Bill Clinton since the '70s when women are saying he's he raped me. OK, he's been a deviant this entire time. They've taken lie detector tests and they've passed, mm -hmm. which I mean, CIA agents know how to pass lie detector tests. The average American doesn't do it. At when are we going to go? All right, everybody, let's take a time out. You're a freaking bad guy and you need to go to je have your day in court. But, dude, he's a disgusting human being. He's You're disgusting. talking about Clinton? I think Cl Clinton's one of them. Alan Dershowitz. When, dude, and why is it when you see all these people that are accused, when you see a Alan Dershowitz, when you see a John Podesta, when you see a Kevin Spacey, is it just me or when you see these people, they all look the same. They all have that evil vibe. The Jeffrey Epstein, that photo mm -hmm. of him in jail, they look disgusting to me. And Bill Clinton is one of them to well, me. I don't care how good he was for the country. Something interesting to note. These names are coming out from one lawsuit. There's yeah. reportedly more than 34 different women who have sued the Epstein estate. So this is just the claims from one of those lawsuits. And John that's Gold, what happens yeah. if the other 33 lawsuits and victims, those testimonies become unsealed. Well, I'll, what I'll names will you, come out then? I'll tell you one thing about Clinton. Uh, you know, we had the opportunity to spend some time with him in New York. Uh, uh, randomly you know, at a yeah, bowling you know, alley. It's not uh, like we they, had a meeting. I get it. Um, you know, they call him Slick Willie for a reason. You're damn right. So here's where I'm at with this. If there was anything... Anything with underage girls, hold this man accountable. 
one thousand. Whoever it is, yeah. Whoever it is, whatever it is, hold them accountable. If it's a situation where he's just banging other chicks on the side other than Hillary, you got my vote, buddy. Yeah. I think I want to spend every night with Hillary well, Clinton. Yeah. All right, so I'm not, I'm just I'm just gonna go there with that. But what about but what but, about rape? What about women saying he groped me and raped me? That's already been addressed. I believe all. That's women. already been addressed. I believe all women. The, the Paula Jones stuff, the Lewinsky stuff. Ma, I'm Juanita specifically Broderick. talking about. The Epstein stuff. Dude, Donald Trump showed up in 2016 with the accusers I love that. at the fucking debate. Have you ever seen anything like that? You like reality TV, Google That's Trump Clinton debate. <laughs> Bill Clinton, who I was 70 years old at the time, look at it, he was 188 years old. He was about to die in there. Okay. Yeah. I've never, okay. You, Dude, there that look. Look at that look. Come Pat. on, player. By the way, that's not his daughter. That, Just Google no, it. That is his daughter. No, that's not his daughter. That's Chelsea Clinton. Who bro. is the person that they say that? That is Chelsea Clinton. That's that. Does Vinny. that look like him? <laughs> Vinny. By the that way, is Chelsea you, Clinton. Okay. No, we'll get. Guy, well, okay. Why don't you Google, Google, yeah, who Google, is Chelsea Google, Clinton's father? Please, Rob. Please. Who is Tom? What's his name? Webb Hubble. Webb Hubble is the I what are we doing right now what are we doing go to images Rob <laughs> what kind of nonsense are we doing hey, right now what type of tomfoolery Web Hubble that's the guy that's <laughs> That's his, that's his, that's his, that's his, but wait, how about the, sure, guys, yeah. uh, you win, just right. a random oh, picture okay. of a guy I've never no, no, heard about, okay. you right. win the argument, right. and, and Rob, not the, not the, not the, the, the girl that he's been raising since the time she's zero, oh, and what about the black kid okay. from Arkansas, did you see that kid, the, where, they, where they call him, they go, that, that that's Clinton's you know what, Vinny, go do your unusual okay. suspect right. Clinton bullshit, well, 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 okay? okay, I'm not, like, it's not, well, well, you love him that much, Adam, I'm not, I'm just saying, I like to live in reality, what's, what's Rob, what's, what's Vinny talking yeah, about, yeah, who, who's son. the, who's the son of, uh, uh, the Arkansas, Saw uh, Bill Clinton's uh, son Roger Stone actually wrote a freak did a documentary about this kid and went there. Who does that person look like? Danny Williams. Is Danny his name. Williams, and that's he. He <laughs> claiming, yeah. Who is that, Adam? Vinny, do you have any discretion, or if you just see something, it's a hundred percent fact. Adam, Adam, there was a documentary. Roger okay, Stone I, did the whole thing. Listen, does that not look like him? Listen, they in the name of that looked like him. We had him. We we did this whole entire conversation before you joined PBD podcast with freaking Dr. Jordan Peterson. Everyone's like, of course. Um, I wasn't. I didn't do one with. I, I know. So I'm saying before. You know what before means, baby. Uh, who, that looks who, like who did we ask about? We uh, Justin Trudeau. Yeah. And this guy spent two hours ripping. On Justin Trudeau, yeah. he's the worst. He's the I would never in a million yeah. years. And then we asked him, you know, there's been stories that Fidel Castro is actually Justin Trudeau's dad. He goes, I can't uh, condone this type of thing. It's not. Uh, it's not good. So the point is, somebody who hates Justin Trudeau with all his heart, with all his passion, would not even do that. So uh, believe me, uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson hates Justin Trudeau way more than you hate a Clinton. I can oh, guarantee but, you that. But, 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 can guarantee you that. But my so my use some discretion right, before we start making shit up. I didn't mean nothing. Yeah, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on. No, I gotta address this bullshit comment that you just made. I'm saying from the beginning. A, this isn't even a fake Bill fight, Clinton, guys. No, no, Bill Clinton. How much more do you need to find out, Adam? How much more do you need to find out about Bill Clinton? To be like the guys. How, how much more? Why do you wake up every morning thinking about I, who well, Bill Clinton? No, wait, no. See, I, I, I don't give a shit. He's you do. On, he's on Epstein's list 50 times. You don't think the world's paying attention right if now? If there's underage girls, that's what's going on. Hold him accountable. Okay. If he's just banging random chicks and he, has a, and he has an illegitimate child, okay. half of America has that shit. I'm just, I'm just saying though. I, what about? You, I, I'm not just sticking with the underage kid thing. What about the rape? Allegations. Oh, she just throw that one away. It's it's none of my business. So, okay, it's none of your business because you don't care. He's already care been. He's already been on trial for that. Yeah, but he, Adam, he so you want to go really? You, you only want to go rid of the gate? Uh, okay, it's wow. 10, 11, 07. guys. You know what? Let's Maybe figure this out. Maybe we should just out. turn left and into Daily Plaza, <clears throat> drive past the book. Uh, let me make spin this positive. I'll do it real quick. Here's why the Epstein thing is not going away. You're, I don't know why you're making this so much about Clinton. Let's make this about Epstein. You're like so fixated on Clinton. Let's make this about Epstein. And this is why Epstein isn't going away. Conspiracy theories. JFK. Who are the biggest of all time? Elvis. Oh, people think he's still alive. Tupac. All that was pre-social media. All that was pre-podcast. All that was before this disruption that's going on. The reason that this is never going to go away for Epstein is because... People like us, people that have podcasts, people that have social media, people that have voices, people that want freaking answers are not going to drop this. The Whitney Webbs of the world are not going to be silent. And this is what the people want to know about. 
So this is the reality. I like to stay fixated on what the hell happened with Epstein, yeah. not Slick Willie. But, but Slick Willie, but out of all people, who was mentioned the most? That's my point. Is him. Prince Andrew. No, no, it's not. It's 50. How many times did he fly there, Adam? Bill Clinton is all over. The story we just talked about was Bill Clinton. So my thing you're, is, Adam, just you're accountability. You're breaking his heart. You're breaking his heart. I know. Don't I do that. It's accountability. He's not sad. There's no accountability. Like he was the first president you ever voted for. You said that. I'm still, I'm still saying that. It's the truth. I was 18 years old. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.